Hey Siri, define the word shark. A shark is a long-bodied, chiefly marine fish with a cartilaginous skeleton. No, 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 the, like the other type of shark. A shark is a person who unscrupulously exploits or swindles others. Ah, uh, yes, that's more like it. Today's video is the beginning of a series of Rust adventures where I set out to exploit the absolute shit out of the Rust console community. And as you'd imagine, some wouldn't take too kindly to my shenanigans. The plan for this wipe was to shark large oil rig. <laughs> What's going on everybody? How are we all doing today? As you can see, we're back playing some Rust console today. So yeah, today we're jumping onto a monthly server. I'm actually going to be playing duo with my man Emilio. So yeah, let's not waste any time. I'll get him in party. Let's get this thing started. Hey, a fresh rust wipe. I, I spawned in on the beach, right? And cargo was like going past. And there was these like, I could hear boots running next to me. And I like stood up and there was these two dudes with like full metal AK running on the beach. They gave you shit, right? Mmm. Then I killed him with my rock. Yeah. <laughs> rock to AK in three seconds. <laughs> oh, um, this, this map is... Oh man. It's weird. It's weird. It's all on the... It's all stacked on the left of the map. Whole east is like ice. What we really need is um, to be near a fishing village and to get enough scrap for uh, jackhammers and learn satchel charge. So we could put our main base down in like I-17 fishing village. Credit for this idea goes to AI PvP, who performed this technique absolutely flawlessly. Essentially, when you're submerged in water in Rust, you can't shoot weapons or heal, but you can use melee weapons such as jackhammers. You can also throw explosives such as C4 and satchel charges. In order to shark someone, all you have to do is satchel charge their boat, destroying it and rendering it useless, while leaving its occupants stranded in the water. Easy prey for the sharks waiting below. We were excited to see how this would play out in reality, but first we needed to put down a base and start collecting some essential items including scuba kits, melee weapons and the satchel charge blueprint. So with a rough base location and plan of attack in mind, we headed south to find a build location for our base. Sounds good. Yeah, we're gonna need a decent amount of scrap still, like even to get to garage door and that. And I think if we hit like, if we hit the jackpot, sharking people, then we can just try and <laughs> make a main base. Ooh, oh man, there's some big the, bases the priority, around. The priority, is to, the priority is to grease up before we get a base. Yeah, I, I agree. I see that massive base that you're talking about down near supermarket. Yeah, it's gross. Made my game stutter. <laughs> Has it rendered in? Is that you? Yeah. Gummy. Chuck, close the up. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Oh, Bandit's pretty close though. That's not bad. Yeah, bandit's close. But Oh, savage pick. Oh man. This guy's got did some just, got some loot. Did he just give up. No, he's just like hiding, didn't think I'd seen him. Might go to bandit to recycle. Don't come back until you got 5k wood. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Oh, 
we get an exposed base down here with a tier one and two furnaces. Please be unlocked. Sorry, we're quick to go great if it's not. Well, the foundation's only 70 health. I might just pick it out. Nothing in TC. Yeah. Excellent. It's a raid, that C4. Is it? Yeah, right, G16. We should go see if they leave a tier 2. Base has got a bubbler in front of it, so it can be loaded. God, this guy's a god. Dead. Yeah. Melio had heard a C4 raid going off close to our base, so we wanted to see if we could score any scraps. Uh, what's the location of it? Top right of G16. Uh, where the AK is shooting. <laughs> I think there's a, I think there's a gun up there. I just found a dead body. I just couldn't find the gun, but I got away. Got a high external wall. Now I did too. Mm. I can hear footsteps outside of you. Yeah, it's me. Oh, there's someone else also running outside. Ah, that's good. Hmm. Didn't speak too soon. I saw a hazmat Thompson dude here just a second ago. Hey, the boys. Yeah, let's focus on getting the satchel. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just about to do that run. With cards. Oh, really? Oh, I'll come over just in case. At this stage, we didn't really need to expand the base much further, but needed scrap to allow us to tech tree down to satchel charge. The place we'd chosen to build wasn't ideal for scrap, so we decided that making the run across to water treatment would be the best right. option. Let's go. We'd soon find out that scrap progression in this area would be more difficult than we'd originally thought. What the fuck? I'm dead. Are they camping? No, just some naked. A naked with a custom SMG. Yeah, this game is tilting me today. We've built it. I mean, the air. No. It's not very good no. for progressing. It's really not good. Like, it's too far away from a recycler and. Scrap. Yeah. Well, they care package. Might be going down in the middle of nowhere. It's either in the middle of nowhere or a massive like water base next to harbour. You can build at the foot of this lighthouse. Maybe this is where we should have the uh, base. <laughs> Seriously, look where I am. Can you see me on the map? Yeah. I can build here, but at the foot of this lighthouse between the other fishing village and the harbour. Maybe that's better. We can put the boat base right there. Yeah, I'm down. A bag with 400 metal frags. Got the care package. Uh, Tommy custom jackhammer. I'd scored a free care package deep into the snow, and while I was doing so, Emilio had found a new base location that would be much better to progress. It was on the ocean, right next to the lighthouse, with easy access to green and blue card monuments. So while I made the run home with the care package loot, Emilio worked on getting a starter base down. A 
There's a dude here. Let's get a pipey. <laughs> and there's another dude shooting me with arrows. Ready? Uh, yeah, he's still camping just to, your le to the left of your door. Like if I'm facing. Out, if you if out you come out, right. if you come out, he's to the left. Oh. Nice. What a god. What you got there, boy? Hey, it's a different dude. Oh man, this guy's loaded. Oh shit. You got the wood. <laughs> nice. You got the blue. Um, well, I got red card, like I did blue room, but there was only, there was no meal crates. The twig build up. Oh, this is so much better. I feel like it's actually progress. <laughs> yeah. I think just having somewhere to get, get scrap is good. Already the decision to move bases was paying off. So we wanted to fortify the new base and try and integrate a boat garage. Once the base was more secure, we ran all of the loot from our starter, and so we officially had a new home. That'll be enough space with garage door in it. slanted roof. Ah, oh, let's do that. We'll make it like a teepee. And finally, after a couple hours on the server, it was time to see what was happening over a large oil rig. I mean, we could just even take some scuba kids out there and just try and do oil rig. Yeah. I haven't really been watching it, but I don't think anyone's taking it for a long time. Okay. Oh man, if we get sharked, then I think this wipe has to end. Do you see any scientists? Oh, there's a dude running around there. There's like a player. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a headshot. Oh my God. I'm dead. Oh, he nailed me and he headshot me as well. Excuse me? He, he headshot me in the water, like I was deep in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> that was, that, that went worse than even we had expected. I mean, we can go back. I mean, there's not much, not much point going back unless we have a such. Our first trip out to rig was an absolute disaster. But the silver lining was that we knew there were some highly geared players hanging around. So the prospect of grubbing them for their kits kept us motivated. We'd now collected enough scrap to learn satchel charge on the tech tree. So that's exactly what I did. And we headed back out to rig to set up our first shark trap. Yep. One satchel on the ground. Mm, 
I might look out like back towards base. I just want to see a boat so bad. But sadly, after a solid hour of waiting for players at rig, it was getting late for us, so we packed our bags and headed back to base to log off for the night. Well, rip this base, I think. Hmm, alright. I'm going to go to bread. Goofy. Seconds. Just a solo. Hey, hey, just a solo guy. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Can I have my water pipe back at least, and my at least the metal ore, please. No. At least just the metal ore. No. Please. No. those two full metal guys were doing but I don't like it surely those metal guys are going to rig they gotta be fast it was very likely that these metal kits were heading out to rig unfortunately it turned out that Emilio wouldn't be able to play much more this way so I headed out as a solo shark but again after waiting for too long without any customers I headed back to base empty-handed Ugh. Why is no one coming, man? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I don't know how, like, I don't know how, but large still isn't taken. It's been like two and a half hours. So I'm thinking I might just go try and take it myself. I'm gonna learn that Python and we'll, uh, we'll try and take large.
effect trash. Send it. It's not easy with a python. I'm just gonna put it out there. People just aren't taking oil rig. It's really weird. going there boys Shooting at me, that guy. AK. Guess that's his teammate. I don't know if these guys know I'm here, man. Oh my god. No way. It's a grub. Get ahead of it, man. Oh my God, is that a frag? He's going, he's going. Oh no! Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is 
actually dead. What? Oh my god. No! You mother... Ah, rip. Finally, I had the taste of almost grubbing a full invent of high tier loot, but alas, I'd gotten the shark greed and hung around for too long. This left me motivated though, so I headed back out, but I'd be interrupted along the way. No, <laughs> I should have run away, what are you doing? I can't believe I missed the satchel. No way, I missed the satchel again, man. What the fuck? There's so many people in this fucking team, man. Oh, so close, because I think it takes two satchels to blow up a, a rib, and I missed oh, the yeah. second satchel. Oh, damn. Mm, but there was like five of them on that boat going to I saw um, that. cargo. I saw that. I think it's so huge. I was just trying to go back to um, rig because I almost got away with a full invent. But then they killed me. Do you want to swim over and go see? To be honest, I think the shark strategy is better on weekly servers. Because like, no one... I, I sat out here for like an hour and a half today and no one took it. And then no one took it for like three hours, I reckon, in total. Yeah, imagine if you got a full rib of, like, Carmen boots, your gear would be insane. <laughs> That's all it takes, eh? I couldn't believe how many people were on that rib. After fumbling the bag against this five man, I managed to find the Thompson that had dropped to the ocean floor on my shark attack oh, earlier. Yes, After depoting the loot, I was running solo again, it's waiting cool. patiently to strike some unsuspecting rig victims. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this works so well. That just works so well. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the funniest shit that I've ever done, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they're so mad. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god, I can't stop laughing, dude. <laughs> it's so like, it's such a rap move, but it just works so well. Uh, we're loaded. We got the guns. The sharking finally pays off. 
Safe to say, my patience had finally paid off. I'd scored a bunch of tier 2 weapons, not to mention a red and blue card, which would allow me to call in the heavy scientists at oil rig. As you can tell, I was pretty ecstatic. So much so, that I hadn't really considered the deep sense of rage that this must have instilled in the duo that I'd just sharked. And if there's one thing I know about Rust players, it's that they'll go to insane lengths to seek revenge. For the time being though, I wanted to keep the momentum going. So after depoting my loot, I headed back out to oil rig. Once more, however, I sat there for ages waiting for someone to arrive, but no one did. The day turned to night, and I had to return to base and log off for the afternoon. Service full. This is prime sharking territory. Oh my god, they're right there. No, there's so much loot in those boxes out the back. Fuck. <laughs> How did they get in? They must have raided through at least like a stone wall or like, or one of those windows, I guess. I really want to open this door and shoot him, but I have like, oh god, he's right there. I guess they're going to get explosives. Ah, it's over. I'm just going to wait. Man, I'm gonna wait until they raid through this door. Try and catch them off guard. Because if I if I open it, then it may as well be raided through, right? Might as well keep the element of surprise. Wait, what? Oh, they're coming through the Oh. Wait, what? Okay, they know I'm in here now. I didn't realise that that wall was half health. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, uh, um, don't, don't I've, open this door. I've, okay, I've literally cooked dinner. Like, what's the, <laughs> what's the play here? Can you, can you pick up your bag and move it back here in this lot? But that, they're literally at this door, so don't open it. Yeah, okay, get it out of the way. Is it the guys in that massive compound down the way then? Um, I don't know. There was like three, I just loaded in and there was like three dudes with boots running around and then I saw a Saar peeking through this garage door and this, uh, this stone wall was at half HP, so I don't know. Is there a plan I can make? Can I go outside and shut up the little door there? Yeah, can you just like, maybe if you just spawn outside and just tell me what's going on. They're not there. They're still there. They're there, they're there. How many? Two at least. 
What do they look like they're wearing? Hazards. They're shooting spazzes though, so I don't know if they can. They might not have the boom to get through two garage doors. Is this for free? Is one of them. I'm gonna go, I can be back in like 30 minutes. Hopefully, he's still there when I come back. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know what you can do there. They're, so they're locked, the front door's locked, they've gone backside. They've gone through the windows, and jumped through the windows, and then shot the sheet metal door out. There were windows um, on, so they blew through them. No, they blew through them, I guess. Oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah. Emilio couldn't get on for the next half hour or so, so the clock was ticking. I had to prepare for if these raiders brought over more explosives. Um, it's not really much I can do. Yo, there's at least three, man. Someone's just come back with a boom, I'm pretty sure. Like, draw some attention. If I can get in the front door, I think we still got that shoddy trap. actually work. I'm not sure they're gonna let me in the front door, is there any problem? Oh the shoddy trap's half broken. We need to repair a shoddy trap. No, I don't think you can. What are they doing? Maybe I can open the front door. Yeah, yeah, I think I might have just baited one into dying at the shoddy trap. How'd you get a shoddy trap? There's one at the front door. Yeah, yeah, one of them's dead, one of them's dead. Spam. So I can lock the door oh, oh. without having to put a code on. Grabbing it a little bit. Oh, I still got my machete first. See. I still got my bed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Can you move a door? Oh, there's nothing here. I just needed to like distract him, so I can yeah, okay. get a do door I, off. Do I distract from the back side or the front side? Well, there's one in here camping, so. I mean, like, I feel like they're holding for a reason because they're crafting more boom, so. Uh, so, yeah, there's a guy in here camping, and then there's two jumping around on the roof. If you can distract the guy in here enough that I can get a door off. I'm gonna come backside, though. 
Yeah, yeah. It was at this moment, I knew this was personal. Emilio and I needed to come up with a plan before they brought back more hey, explosives. Me. Oh, it's them. It's the guys from Rig. That's annoying. That's going to be annoying to seal. Or we could even just put wooden window bars on there. Oh, let's do that. They're, we, using, they're using... Yeah, if we get window bars, we can put them on. Because if, if we can seal in one of them with window bars, then we can both spawn inside and we should be able to kill them. Yeah, yeah, if you can get window bars on, do it. But also if they kill you with window bars on your body, they'll know what you're doing. We could both just run it at the same time. I've got a bar I'm as well. From, I'm coming from the water. I'm coming from the water. <clears throat> okay, two jumping in right now. One's gone inside, one's outside. So there might be two inside or one inside, I'm not sure. There's definitely one outside. Can you see me? I'm swimming up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another one just went out, I'm going for it. Alright. Oh no, it's on. Okay, so there's two in there. Okay, maybe if we try and partition, if we can get a door down inside, we can just like whack a door and a, code, a key lock on. going up the lighthouse right now. I got a door on. You got a door on? Yeah, yeah. So we can open garage door. I got a double door on with a code lock, key lock. It's only wood though. What were they doing? They, I mean, he started shooting me as soon as I opened the door, but I just whacked the door in front of his face and he didn't open it quick enough. Well, I think now that they're trapped in there, I think we just focus on trying to kill them. Like, if you get frags, if we can kill this dude outside, like, we, we could actually come, you should come back to base, we'll kit up, go out the front door and kill the dude at harbor, at lighthouse. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Do you want, I'm at the outpost, I'm at Bandit right now. Yeah. Should I just F1? Uh, yeah, do it, I reckon. Yeah. We now had the upper hand. With two of the raiders trapped inside our base, and one holding with Tommy from the outside, all we had to do was kill the Tommy guy, and we'd be able to set an ambush for the two remaining players. The fact these guys were still hanging around made us pretty confident they were planning to bring back more boom, so we needed to act quickly. I think they're passing shit out right now. You ready? Go first, ready? Yep. Go, go. Absolutely shat one. Killed him. Now let's try and get the other two before they get out. Did you get my shit? Uh, no. Nah. I love how these guys like the tables are turned. So good. Yes. We just gotta consolidate on it now. I, have, I mean, maybe I should go out the back side and you go front side and I'll shoot them at that. Yeah, do that. If you go out the front, and um, as soon as they start being distracted by you, I'll open this door. Cool. 
All right, where are you? I'm ready to drop. I'm ready to go. All right, do it. I'm in. I've sealed it. Both dead. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you pick up this, uh... <laughs> Can you pick up this furnace? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Get wrecked. Can you put a... Can you put a... Yeah. Uh, they were both so preoccupied with you. Ah, uh, that one's not a lot. On to the back. But it was all over when I logged in and heard the boots. They rocketed. They rocketed. They did, they, they did yeah. The roof stamp. Yeah. Yeah, boy. The dream lives on. <laughs> the dream. I was actually so keen to go with sharks and people when I saw there was a queue. And then I had to deal with this shit. <laughs> They would have like when the because the guy that was at the front with the Tommy was their like their good guy. Mm. But when he went down, those two would have started <laughs> shitting themselves. The realization would have set in. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they heard the wooden window bars, they knew that there was a ploy for me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, GGs. GGs. <laughs> After a successful defense against these guys, Emilio and I called it for the night. And sure enough, come the following morning, we'd been offline raided. I definitely had a lot of fun applying this shark tactic to score some easy loot, but more importantly, to bait the retaliation of some of the bigger groups running oil rig. So you guys can definitely look forward to seeing some more sharking content in the near future. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you real soon.